I was injured when I was deployed to Afghanistan in my unit uh, by a rocket lapel grenade blast. Not just the military part was gone, but who I was. I got down the darkest part of a road to make the final decision to, you know, not, I didn't want to live anymore. You give up, you're done. You have no more fight left in you at that moment. I was always by my dad's side, even from a young kid, hunting and fishing with him. And as I got older and started getting into playing football, and he was really into that with me and became my football coach. After my injury, my dad was there to show that my life is valuable and to not give up even when it is hard. Yeah, I think I pushed him a lot. He was frustrated that he couldn't run, he couldn't do anything that he used to do. You have to be a strong person to face up to things. I think it took him a while, but he got there. For that, I'm happy. I remember when he put the sea brace on him, when he first got him, and he walked right down the hall, he says, this kid, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> the sea brace changed my mind. It gave me the sense of purpose back. It made me feel whole and made me know that I'm a capable person. I am so happy you're back and in one whole piece, closer than you've ever been to being complete. And this is what's doing it right here. You're my best friend. <laughs> it means a lot. Hi, buddy. You okay? The type of father I want to be for my kids is a caring, loving dad that teaches and um, discipline and love. I always bring these. If I could be somewhat pretty much of my dad was to me, I think I nailed it perfectly. <laughs>